Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna do an artist spotlight, man. And this artist spotlight is featuring the music of Les Paul, the musician. And uh, this is coming by way of a uh, recommendation uh, by Brian Simpson. Thank you, Brian. Brian says, Hi Wayne, I enjoy contributing to your knowledge of music, and this one is really important for your understanding. Sort of a master class component. Les Paul was a musician inventor that opened the door of creativity when it comes to electric guitars and recording equipment. This is a concert he did for his 60th birthday at the Brooklyn School of Art in New York in, late, in the late 80s. He has lots of big name musical guests who share their appreciation for what Les did for them and there's plenty of jamming. This is a must see that I know you'll love. Right on. Thank you very much, Brian. Let's check it out, man. Les Paul, the person. So it's kind of like a 60 minute uh, documentary artist profile. Let's get it. Les Paul, he changed the music. Very seldom oh, God, do I ever ask you for anything. My favorite diva of the 70s. In some pretty rough problems, but I never asked for anything. But now I need your help. Would you please Early Simon. take care Another of me one. over in Brooklyn because we can knock them dead with your help. Some good uh, stars. So this is a 60th birthday celebration. Nice. Thank you. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that's great. I, I, I know what you're wondering, and I'd like to start the thing off right. I'd like to explain to you what I have on my guitar that uh, invented many years ago and uh, I'm very proud of it. It's this little black box that I have on my guitar here. It's called the Les Pulverizer. And you can't, <laughs> you can't buy it at Radio Shack or Sears or anything like that. This is my own invention. But with it, I can take my one guitar and I can multiply it into an orchestra. Van Halen is worried sick over my little black box. <laughs> I'd like to start first by showing you how it works. I'll start with one guitar live like this. Okay, now throw that switch and you'll hear it back. Now I'll add a part. 
part to that, and you'll hear two guitars. That's three guitars out of work. Now watch this one. Now I'll go for five. Here goes a drummer. They're worried sick over my little black box. <laughs> I could keep it up all night. <laughs> now I'm going to ask the band to join me and listen to this. Question. You can ask that me two questions. Box you yep. have. There's a little black box. Yeah, yeah. Well, where can I get one? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that was in that was in 1944. Now a lot of time has gone by since 1944. This 1988. Even, I wasn't even alive yet. Then. 1988. Yeah, your old man was just thinking about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here it is, 1988. I would like to go down and sit in the front row and see what you got to do now. Oh, hey, I just and you've say, changed things yeah. a lot. I just want to say one thing, that without the things that you have done, I couldn't do half the things that I can do now, in, including, you know, the echo stuff. Well, forget and, your marriage. No, wait a, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hey, we wouldn't be able to make records like we do if you didn't invent multi-track recording. Well, thank you. Thank you. Eddie, go get him. Wow. It must feel good to influence such a great talent like this.
This guy started. <laughs> that is fantastic. Fantastic. And the people love it. And they love it. They love that. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Eddie Van Halen, ladies and gentlemen. Such respect. Gives him a kiss. Killer. Killer. All right. We know you like that. So we're off to a good start. The next person that I'd like to bring out here. He's been a favorite of mine for many, many years. And you can't think of the blues. Forget Muddy Water, Lonnie Johnson, all those guys. The guy that is the biggest and the best of them all, and he is big and he is great, B.B. King. Yep.
Andre Kalev. Baby! Yes, all right. So glad you came. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Les. Thanks for having me out here with you tonight. You know something? I'd, I'd like to tell you this, and I, since we're both real close in age, you know, and Lucille is getting jealous because you're getting close. She's getting close, too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but anyway, I'd like to say it. Up by now. Well, thank you. I'd like to say this to you. Did you know that through all the years of playing, you going one way and me going the other, finally we get together and I get a chance to meet what I think is a legend in his own time? Aren't yeah. you? Yeah, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the lovely and talented Miss Carly uh, Simon. What's your favorite Carly song? It happens every day to lovers with the best intentions to stay. Decide to separate Just how it happens Neither is certain Still it happens every day I'd say you're so vain It happens every day After you break up Say these words to your Cindy Williams, so doesn't it? The lady the she's harmonizing with. Great, Carly. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I see here that I have a gift of one of your beautiful guitars with my name on it. I'm honored. Who gave that to you? I can't imagine. <laughs> Thanks for coming Thank over. Thank you. Right, isn't she wonderful? Yes, she is. She is pretty. It's a great this crowd, time, man. Standing I'd like to tell you that a fellow was best man at my wedding. God rest his soul, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and I just would like to say that he had a boy five years old. And he used to say, hey, Pop, where are you going tonight? He says, I'm going down to here, Les Paul, Mary Ford. And so he says, can I bring my son down? And he did. He brought the son down. And the guy says, gee, Dad, I'd like to be like him someday. And I'd like to introduce him to you now. 
Steve Miller. Wow. Great Steve Miller. Good evening. got you'll get them that's not your lose so the bible says and it still is news mama may have papa may have but god bless the child who's got his own Strong get more while the weak ones fade. Empty pockets, well, they don't ever make the grade. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child who's got his own. friends they're always hanging around your door but when the money's gone and the spending ends they don't come around much anymore rich relations give crust of bread and such You can help yourself But you better not take too much No, mama may have Papa may have But God bless the child Who's got his own Props to the Les Paul band. They can jam hard, they can do a classic, they can do it all. Got shall get them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child who's got his own. Since he was five, I remember. And that was this five-year-old kid that I met in yeah, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 
Steve yeah, Miller, who would think that that little kid would grow up like that? But anyway, the gal that I'd like to introduce is important because she's going to do a couple of numbers that were big hits for Mary and I, and her Rita name Coolidge. is Rita Coolidge. Man, it's my favorite diva. Part of the show. Yeah. Get on a kiss from Rita Coolidge. Rita Coolidge. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. Very pretty. Here's a thing I did with Judy Garland that I am very, very proud of, and I'd like to do it for you now.
forget just how how I felt to have Judy Garland with the legs hanging over the apron at the Palace Theater singing over the rainbow the tears that would come to your eyes when she when she yeah, sang that thing yeah. I worked with another guy that gave me the biggest break in the world and this was right ahead of Mary and his name was Bing Crosby and I would like to do the number. It, it's, it's a very interesting thing because on the strength of that record with Bing Crosby, I got a job immediately in Needles, California, in the middle of the Mojave Desert, playing for four bartenders and an Indian. <laughs> I found out what the problem was. It said Decca Records, and right underneath it in big print, it said Bing Crosby, and in very, very tiny print. It says, accompanied by the Les Paul Trio. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do it for you at this time. This crowd is excellent, man. So enthusiastic. Good morning, Anthony. Thank you very much. We're done.
God, how the crowd is so willing to give that standing O. Great show of respect for these artists. David Gilmore, Pink Floyd. Great. Thank you, Les. Thank you. Great. Great. My privilege to do this with you. Waited many years for this. Boy, you play your butt <laughs> off. Love it. It's Love it. Love it. Love it very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming over to see me. Appreciate it, man. Good luck to you. All right. Nice. Told you, it ain't over till it's over. Old Yogi Bear said it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have another guy here that's going to just knock your socks off. What can I say? An innovator. He's got his own box going. He's got his own thing going. And he absolutely is an astonishing guitar player. I'd like to introduce you to Stanley Jordan. Yeah, I'd like to say hello uh, to you, Les. And I'd like to say thank you for all the music that you've given us through all these years. Throughout and the thank you for all your wonderful ideas that have changed and reshaped the music that the rest of us play. I just want to say thank right you. On. What would you like to do, Georgia? Yeah, let's do Georgia. Okay, we got Georgia. So Stanley's obviously a student at the uh, uh, Brooklyn School of Art. Started. I want you, you to know something. Well, it's tall, man. I, am, right, I think Wes is <laughs> I got on boots. Try it. Now, I come from Nashville, and they would probably be about a third of as many guitar pickers if it hadn't been for you. Because, I mean... Oh, don't I've, lay all that jazz on me. <laughs> I am laying all that jazz on you. I didn't do you. all yeah, that. You Who did, then? <laughs> you don't think Chet Atkins did it all, do you? <laughs> He's you got to take you got to take some of the blame He's anyway. I'll take some of the blame. Right. What are you going to do? I tell you what, I'm going to you had a lot of hit records and I'm going to try to do one of them, one of my favorites. I really don't want to know. You got to deal. When did Will and Pass? 
Was it in the 80s? Or? I gotta look that up. Couldn't have been that early. Because the man changed the music. I bet music. you they're going to be sexy and 17. What do you to want for the money? Two for the show. Okay, yeah, maybe not. Now go cat, oh, it's on to you. Step on my blue suede shoes. Are you doing a fight? Well, you hold for my blue suede shoes. Are you going to knock me down? Step on my face. Stay in my name all over the place. Doing a thing you want. Do anything you wanna do, baby, 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 lay off on this shoe. Don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Do anything you lay off on my blue suede shoes. One more time. My favorite song from them is uh, Straight Cat Strut. Oh, this makes me think of Garfield. Hey, Eddie Van Halen, get your 
butt up here, man. Where is he? Crowd stands up. Our jam.
Fantastic. That was excellent. Wow. What a very influential person, man. I'm telling you. To be able to uh, look back on life and know that you've inspired so many people and that you will ever, forever be remembered. Hey, man. Really, really fantastic. What a great, great personality. What a great talent. And uh, very, very gracious. He's a class act, man. Fantastic, man. Bless Paul. Uh, Brian, big props to you for... Uh, sending this to me and it's a really really good way for us to uh conclude our collaboration you know with respect to the uh channel dwindling down and everything like that you saved the best for last brother thank you very much this was excellent so let's do this man let's do a little uh read on uh mr paul i know it's been over an hour so i won't uh talk too long i just want to kind of get an overall uh, vision of him. So, Les Paul. Lester William Paulsoff, June 9th, 1915 to August 12th, 2009, known as Les Paul, was an American jazz, country, and blues guitarist, songwriter, luthier, and inventor. He was one of the pioneers of the solid body electric guitar, and his prototype, called the Log, served as inspiration for the Gibson Les Paul. Paul taught himself how to play guitar. And while he's mainly known for jazz and popular music, he had an early career in country music. In the 50s, he and his wife, singer and guitarist Mary Ford, recorded numerous records, selling millions of copies. Paul is credited with many recording innovations. His early experiments with overdubbing, also known as sound on sound, delay effects such as tape delay, phasing, and multi-track recording were among the first to attract widespread attention. His licks, thrills, recording sequences, fretting techniques, and timing set him apart from his contemporaries and inspired many guitarists of the present day. Among his many honors, Paul is one of a handful of artists with a permanent exhibition in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's prominently named by the Music Museum on its website as architect and a key inductee with Sam Phillips and Alan Freed. Paul is the only inductee in both the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Wow. Mm. Yeah, there's a tremendous amount of information about him here. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta skip all over, over all of that, man. I'll go back and read it on my own time. But it's got his early career, his mid career, his later career, and all of the stuff in the middle, man. All of the timestamps. This is gonna take a few hours. Let me scroll all the way down. Oh, man. Uh. Yeah, you know what? I'll read a little bit of his awards and honors. I can't read it all, though. A few of Les Paul's many awards are listed below. In 2007, he was given the National Medal of Arts from U.S. President George W. Bush. Paul was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2005 for his development of the solid-body electric guitar. In 88, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame by guitarist Jeff Beck, who said, quote, I've copied more licks from Les Paul than I'd like to admit, unquote. He was also inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2005, the Big Band and Jazz Hall of Fame in 1990, the New Jersey Inventors Hall of Fame in 1996, and the New Jersey Hall of Fame in 2010. Yo, man, uh... Let me just scroll down here, holy cow. Two of his songs entered the Grammy Hall of Fame, How High the Moon and Vaya Con Dios. In 76, he and Chet Atkins received the Grammy Award for Best Country Instrumental. 
In 2005, he won Best Pop Instrumental for Caravan and Best Rock Instrumental for 69 Freedom Special. Oh my gosh. Yo, guys, I, uh... Yeah, man, uh, there's just so many honors and awards. I gotta scroll down. In 1960, he and Mary Ford received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2009, Paul was named one of the top 10 electric guitarists of all time by Time Magazine. Two years later, he was, naming the, he was named the 18th greatest guitarist of all time by Rolling Stone. During the same year, his name was added to the Nashville Walk of Fame. Yeah, I can't uh, read all of this. I gotta scroll. I'll go back and read all of this stuff in my own time. So, his passing. On August 12, 2009, Paul died of complications from pneumonia at White Plains Hospital in White Plains, New York. After hearing about his death, many musicians commented on his importance. Slash called him vibrant and full of positive energy, while Richie Sombrero called him a revolutionary in the music business. The Edge said his legacy as a musician and inventor will live on and his influence on rock and roll will never be forgotten. On August 21, 2009, he was buried in Prairie Home Cemetery in Wisconsin. Okay, yeah, let's stop there, man. Um, this is a seriously full, full bio. What a great man. What a great legacy. And to, to inspire so many people that we hold in such endearing um, uh, reverie these days. You know, the Yeti Van Halens and the uh, Gilmores and all of these people that just pays so much respect to him. Class act, man. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I do reactions, man, for shit like this. All right. So, uh, Ancap, Evelyn, Amy, Michael, I've got reactions. I've got a hit up for you folks. Uh, coming up, I know that there's a, a little bit of uh, Led Zeppelin like stuff uh, coming up. And uh, I can't recall, there was a. Um, I think there was an interview uh, as well. So looking forward to all of that, man. Uh, as the channel is winding down, I'm just going to um, work on my playlists on the YouTube platform. And um, what I'm going to do... Oh, yeah, by the way, I should let you guys know right off. Um, go to Vimeo and download what it is that you like from my re um, reactions that I've covered because I'm not going to keep paying for the Vimeo platform, right? So you know that uh, more than half of my, for example, Led Zeppelin reactions are on that platform, right? So I'm going to have to figure out maybe um, find another platform and transfer all of those particular um, reactions to or something but failing all of that, whatever it is that you um, are missing from certain reactions, go to Vimeo, check it out, and download it, okay? Because I'm not going to keep paying for it, just so you guys know. But um, what I am going to do is I'm going to repost all of uh, the stuff that um, are unlisted, and I'm going to uh, put... Um, playlists of all of the major groupings of bands and stuff like that like for example with Led Zeppelin uh, I've done over 200 uh, Led Zeppelin reactions so it's going to take me a while to put all of that in a playlist but that I'm going to update um, my YouTube channel before I kind of take a break from it and make sure that all of that stuff is easily found it's going to take me a while right with all the Zeppelin Floyd and Rush reactions and all of that stuff and putting it all in a playlist so uh, bear with me it's going to take some time but um, back to Brian Brian thank you man this is a great way to uh, end our collaboration. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for all of your good content. Um, you're one of those great uh, subscribers and patrons that uh, have always sent me some good stuff and I've always learned from what you've sent me. And um, there isn't a single thing that you've sent me that I haven't liked. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. 
All right, man. So that is uh, my reaction to this excellent man <clears throat> and a great icon and uh, a wonderful and inspiring person. Anyways, have a good one. Uh, tomorrow when you see me, I believe, I, I can't remember who's next. Uh, I, it might be uh, Evelyn. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace.